Hello, let us see another program. Program to find the sum of odd numbers up to n. So here we can give the freedom to the user to choose the limit and all the numbers, all the odd numbers will be generated up to n and we are going to find the sum of n numbers and it will have to be printed. Let us see the program. Okay, this is a C program. Okay, let me save this program. Uh, sum odd dot C. Okay, in this program we have included the usual header files stdio.h, conio.h and the beginning point of the C program, the main function. This is a pro point from where the C program, all the C programs will start executing. In any C program or C++ program there should be a main function. That is the starting point of the program. In our program, we are using three local variables, i, sum, and n. i is used for generating numbers in our for loop. And sum is supposed to store the sum value. Sum is used to store the added value of the series which we are generated generating using the for loop. And n is the limit, the limit the user is supposed to enter the limit while running the program and this printf is giving a user instruction please enter the limit so that the user can enter a number and that number is going to be stored in the variable n and in our for loop for i is equal to 1 that is the starting value 1 is a odd number and the uh, final limit is less than or equal to n and here we have to increment it in steps of 2 for that we have to make some changes i plus equal to 2 this means the initial value of i is given as 1 and in the next iteration of this loop iteration means the loop will be executed continuously until it reaches the final exiting condition so next value will be 2 more than that of the previous value. The previous value plus 2 will be the next value. So each and every time the loop is iterated the value will be incremented by 2. Value of i will be incremented by 2 and final value will be this one the n value that which we don't know now that will be ended by the user at the time of running the program. So in an interactive way we can design the program so that the user can decide the limit up to which number to be added that can be decided by the user. Sum is equal to sum plus i because i is the number generated, the sequence of number generated, sequence of odd numbers generated and the initial value of sum is 0, the 0 plus the first value, second value, third value and so on all the values will be added. And finally, after this loop, the variable sum will be having the sum of all the numbers generated in the series of odd numbers. And that can be printed with the help of the printer statement, percentage %d, because we are using integer data type for sum, comma sum, that's it. Let us check the program. Serve it. Mode. I'm using DMC compiler. Name of the program is SumOrd. Okay, the program is successfully compiled and linked with its library files, and it made an executable file SumOrd.exe. Here, in this case, it is not necessary to give the extension exe.
if you just give this name itself then OS can recognize it's an exe file executable type of file okay it got executed and it is asking us to enter the limit okay let me give 5 enter we are getting 9 and let me give another number 90 okay we are getting the answer okay this is the program this is the program to find the sum of n numbers and to display the output the sum okay see this program try it out in case of any doubts or clarification required please contact me